with more than a museum per square kilometer, Basel deserves the title of the cultural capital of Switzerland by every right. Its numerous beautiful buildings, lively fountains and public art makes this city a piece of art itself. But it is Basel museums that make it an excellent location for any cultural tourist. Basel is home to some 40 museums, the oldest public art collection in the world and the largest museum in Switzerland are among them, being one of the centers of humanism throughout history and home to many wealthy and well-educated families, the city has a long tradition of art collecting. The reason for so many museums in Basel also lies in the early establishment of the University of Basel. Numerous of its museums collections were developed because they were needed for the research done at the university. Despite that, the majority of collections focused on fine arts and originated as private collections. No wonder one of the world's leading art fairs, Art Basel, is organized in that Swiss town as well. However, from the 1960s, Basel became a hub for avant-garde museum architecture, attracting top international architects to leave their mark in the city. Renzo Piano, Zaha Hadid and Mario Botta are just some of them. The Museums of Basel offers a lovely combination of old and new, and you can definitely feel that while visiting them. It's pretty hard to choose the best museums in Basel, so let me show you just some of the highlights in this video. I'm in front of the Kunstmuseum Basel, which is an art museum in the city, and it's actually an oldest art collection in Switzerland, Europe, and probably in the world. The museum is quite large, and it consists of three buildings. We are now in front of one of them. Um, the second one is just next to this building, and the third one is some five minutes away. Kunstmuseum Basel hosts one of the best collections of fine arts in the world. Its history goes back to 1661, when the private collection Amerbach Cabinet was purchased by the University and City of Basel. This collection belonged to the local printing family. Among some other interesting objects, the cabinet had the largest collection of paintings made by Hans Holbein the Younger and the library with around 9,000 books. The Amerbach Cabinet is the oldest civic museum collection in continuous existence and formed a base for the Kunstmuseum Basel. The museum has an extensive collection of paintings made between 1400 and 1600 by artists from the Upper Rhine region. Holbein family, Lucas Cranach the Elder and Matthias Grunewald are among the best known among them. However, it also has a beautiful modern and contemporary art collection of paintings created from the mid-19th century onwards. You'll find many Impressionist and Post-Impressionist painters among them, together with some interesting local Swiss artists. One of the most exciting stories from this museum is the one about its Picasso collection. Kunstmuseum Basel was home to two of Picasso's paintings, which were a private loan. However, in 1967, their owner got into some financial troubles and decided to sell those paintings. To keep their beloved artworks in the city, the citizens of Basel collected the money themselves and acquired the paintings. They managed to raise the money and paid more than 8 million Swiss francs for them. Picasso himself was so impressed by that story that he donated another four of his works to the museum. All of them could still be seen at the Kunstmuseum today, and they form one of the most beautiful Picasso collections in Europe. This lovely museum in Basel is dedicated to the Swiss artist Jean Tanguelli. 
He's best known for his kinetic art and professional obsession with machines, the way they work, sound, move, and their overproduction in the modern world. The Tangoli Museum in Basel provides the story of his life and professional work. It also displays many of his artworks, spanning from kinetic art, drawings and illustrated letters Jean Tangoli sent to his friends. The museum is highly interactive, which is especially amusing while visiting it. Visitors could push the buttons and start Tangoli's machines, play with them and observe them in a way artists wanted them to be seen. They are so fascinating because of the way they move and because they are so beautifully designed. It seems as the artist paid particular attention to their colors and the composition the machine constructions have. Jean Tangoli is also the author of The Fountain that's located right in the Basel city center. Built in 1977, it consists of 10 machine statues made of iron. Since it's located in front of the city theater and where the old theater stage once was, the statues are inspired by that form of art. They are in constant movement, almost looking like the actors performing and interacting with each other. Basel is home to some great museums, but this one behind me is one of its true gems. It's a foundation bailer, and although it was a private collection first, um, today it's open to public and it can be visited. It has a fantastic collection of modern art with some of the works by Claude Monet, Picasso, and some other very famous artists. Located a bit outside the city, Foundation Baylor is easily reachable from the city center of Basel by tram. Its collection is also displayed in a very interesting way. It's almost like you entered someone's living room and you can see all these different paintings on the walls. Uh, but when you come closer, you can see some of the very famous paintings by Picasso, Van Gogh and some other painters. It's situated in a building designed by Renzo Piano in 1997. The art collection was private by Hildi and Ayres Baylor, who transferred the ownership to the foundation in 1982. The museum could be seen in around two hours, making it a perfect place to introduce some of the top names in the modern art world. Among the authors of the works displayed are Degas, Monet, Cezanne, Van Gogh, Picasso, Rothko, Warhol and many others. There are many more museums to be explored in Basel. It's an excellent place for any museum lover or cultural tourist, and it deserves its title of the cultural capital of Switzerland by every right.